Hello and welcome to this session again everyone. Uh, so far we have configured our infrastructure, we have configured our bind and we have defined uh, name records for DNS server as well as one of the client. So now time is to check whether name resolution is working as expected or not. For that you can configure the DNS settings on one of your client. I'm going to pick client one in my setup which is again CentOS machine and uh, on that machine you have to update its uh, etc resolve.con which is basically a DNS client configuration file on a Linux system or any Unix system. So simply I'm uh, putting search opensky.com so this is going to be searched. What is the name server IP? I'm specifying the IP address of my DNS server on my uh, DNS client. So that's it. Once that is done, you can simply run NS lookup on client name or client IP. It should be resolving as you have configured in your forward and reverse zone files. So let's do a quick lab, guys. Okay, so this is my client one where we have to update the resolve.com. Let's see what is the content right now. You can see right now it got a system configuration which is generated by network manager. So what I recommend, I don't want network manager to manage this configuration. What I'm going to do, I'm going to disable network manager. I'm going to stop it too. I don't uh, want to use network manager because on production setups, we don't recommend network manager to be running. So that's good. Let's modify etc resolve.com. Here I'm getting rid of existing entries. I'm specifying search domain, which is opensky.com and name server is this one. So that looks good. So our resolve.com file looks good now. It got search domain and name server. This is going to be name server. So let's uh, validate whether NS lookup is working or not. Oops, it is not, uh, my system is not having NS lookup. That's bad. Uh, but if you don't have NS lookup and you still want to validate thing, just try to ping if ping is allowed. You can see ping is resolving uh, this particular client one to this IP. And uh, this machine don't have any local host entry. You can see here, so it means our name resolution is working. But uh, for everyone's comfort, uh, I'm going to install uh, NSLOOKUP RPM. So RPM name is bind utils. Let me install it quickly. Okay guys, so it's installed. Let's run NS lookup again. You can see it used this particular DNS server, which is our DNS server on port 53. You can see it uh, perfectly resolved client1.opensky.home to this particular IP. That's a forward lookup. Let's test the reverse lookup. You can do same thing, NS lookup uh, the IP of uh, your DNS record. Uh -huh. You can see from IP we resolve to name which is basically reverse lookup so that also work so guys we are good our DNS server is working as ex expected and in case in future you have to add something uh, you want to add more records so what you have to do uh, you have to let's add a record I want to add a record in front of you so that's very simple let's say we want to add a new record client 2 so what I have to do when etc Sorry, not etc. That's going to be var named forward looker file. So here, let's say I want to add new entry client two. Here, its IP is going to two twenty, for example. And here, I have to add a record also. That looks good to me. Let's configure reverse looker file. So client two. Okay, 
let's make it 220 that looks good oh sorry i have missed to update uh, pointer to client 2 now it looks good to me so you can run rndc reload or you can simply reload your name service that's other way on linux system ctl reload named dot oh only named is fine so it reloaded your service let's check the name resolution of client 2 here i'm going to do an s lookup for client 2 now you can see it is resolving a new entry which we configured so that's the way guys uh, you are updating or adding new records that's all in training course guys i believe uh, you have learned something about uh, bind dns server you can always post your queries or your suggestions on uh, the comment section which will really help me to improve for future sessions and uh, thanks for watching this whole session thanks a lot guys thank you